My name is Molute Simon Isanja. I am a senior administrative officer in the Cameroon uh, Public Service. I work in the Ministry of Public Procurement, where I serve as a uh, senior research officer. Um, I hold this position together with that of a, a member of the anti-corruption unit of the same ministry, as well as the deputy um, coordinator of the Tenders Board follow-up unit. I was privileged to undertake studies in uh, Korea, that was in 2018, uh, where I undertook studies in the um, public pro uh, procurement uh, program together with other African um, professionals in the sector. After our stay in uh, Korea, we have been able to put into practice some of the knowledge which we acquired and it is part of that that I am going to share with you. Actually, I have decided to talk on transparency a, as a means to fight um, corruption in the Cameroon public contracts system, drawing from the Korean experience. So generally, our work um, is going to be presented first the general experience in Korea, then we'll look at the best practices, the new ideas, and finally, perspectives. Now, as we know, public procurement is a very important function in every government uh, activity. And for the Republic of Cameroon, over 30% of our national budget is allocated for the financing of uh, public uh, procurement. However, due to some malpractice and irregularities in the sector, prone with uh, corruption and fraud, most of what is allocated is not put into effective use, reason why the social and uh, economic development is very slow. Because of this, the Cameroon government has undertaken a series of reforms in the sector beginning from 1959 right up to date. These reforms have led to the creation of new institutions and at times the redefinition of the roles of the different actors. We have, uh, for instance, the creation of the Ministry of Public Contracts, that was in 2011, and we equally have the redefinition of roles of some entities like the Public uh, Contracts Regulatory Agency, ARMP, and we equally have as one of our latest um, uh, renovations or reforms in the area, the dematerialization of the procurement procedure, uh, which the Cameroon government is doing thanks to the cooperation with the Korean government through COICA, and we have the Cameroon online e-procurement uh, system, COLLEPS. Now, the essence of our presentation is to share what we do in both the Tenders Board Follow Up Unit and the Anti Corruption Unit, learning, drawing from what we did in uh, what we learned from Korea in the Cameroon system. And globally, we have challenges of governance, challenges of efficiency, and challenges of uh, business development. Now, before we go into the specificities of uh, what we actually acquired as experience and how that has helped us, I want to throw a bit of light on our Korean uh, experience. The experience in Korea can generally be summarized into two perspectives. There was the um, socio-cultural um, experience and there was, most importantly, the professional experience. For the social uh, experience, we had the opportunity to share in Korean life. We were treated to some Korean meals, like the kimchi, like the bulgogi. We had the opportunity to even uh, feel ourselves in Korean uh, dresses, like the Hancock. And um, not only that, we equally had the opportunity to meet some Korean people 
And I think most um, particularly about this lady, uh, Ms. Yosom Kim, who actually uh, assisted us during our stay in Korea. She was our guide. And I think her hospitality, which depicts that of all Koreans, is legendary. So, um, concerning other uh, social and uh, cultural aspects of Korean life, we, we were uh, honored to have visited uh, the Presidential Museum. We uh, visited the uh, Busan uh, Film Festival. We had uh, so much uh, other sites like the uh, Samsung uh, headquarters. We had the opportunity to see the latest technology and even what is in perspective and what Samsung is doing to, uh, to be produced in the years ahead. So I think uh, on that perspective, we had a very wonderful time in, in Korea. Now, on the professional experience, I want to say it was overwhelming. As during our three weeks stay in uh, Korea, we had over 17 presentations on different aspects of the Korean procurement system. In fact, uh, we had a presentation on uh, the public procurement uh, system in Korea, PPS. We had presentations on its data, its management, its security, its uh, maintenance. We had opportunities to even have demonstration of how the PPS um, system functions. We equally had the opportunity to visit uh, PPS stations like the, the call center. We visited the stockpiling center in, in Busan. It was a wonderful uh, thing because uh, in some of our countries, some of these things don't, they don't exist as we saw them. And we were equally overwhelmed to have visited the uh, PPS test center. What was particular about this is that most uh, developing countries, and even in some developed countries, there is too much um, emphasis on the regulation, on actually what government is going to purchase, and not on uh, how government is going to purchase, rather, and on not on what the government is purchasing. I was very, very touched by the putting in place of the test center where equipment and articles that are to be introduced in the shopping mall, for instance, are validated through this system um, before they are put for, for procurement. Now, um, there are so many other um, professional experiences that I would prefer to limit myself in the field of um, the transparency and how what we gained from uh, Korea that is going to help us in this perspective. And concerning that, from our stay in Korea, we we denoted that there were basically four aspects of uh, transparency, uh, which are the basic requirements for a procurement system to function well. The first one is the availability of a, a legal framework to guarantee transparency. In Korea, we had the opportunity of having uh, presentations on the electronic procurement system, on the, the Graft Act, and these are the legal basis on which such uh, activity is going to be practiced. The implication is that for a system to be termed transparent, and for it to have all the attributes of a, a modern procurement system, the rules of the game must be understood by all those who are to take part in it, such that there are no avenues for adventurers. Now, in Cameroon, we equally have a set of rules and regulations to regularize this, this system. We have laws. We have the law on good governance and transparency. We have the code. We have the law on uh, cyber criminality. We have law on, uh, uh, on e-commerce. But we equally have regulatory texts like the public procurement code 
and we equally have um, texts signed recently by the Prime Minister for the dematerialization of the public procurement pro procedure. As I said, Cameroon is now engaged in e-procurement, which we are greatly learning from the Korean experience. Now, the second point which we um, learned from uh, the Korean system is that the information on procurement should be made, the relevant information should be made available to all the stakeholders. Now, for the Korean system, given its development and its advanced state in, uh, in CONEPS, this information can be gotten at all times. But in addition to that system in Korea, we equally saw the um, GPS call center, which permitted uh, people to have up-to-date and on-the-point information concerning uh, procurement activities or concerning tenders. Uh, in Cameroon, we still have uh, some avenues that we uh, are exploiting in this perspective. But for now, what we have as our uh, e-procurement system is still in its elementary state. We have some basic information that are supposed to be made public for those who are taking part in this activity. These information are pre-tendering information. That is information that are made public to everybody before the, the, the launching uh, to permit companies or institutions to, to, to take part. And we equally have post-tender information. Just to throw light on maybe the post-tender information, we have, for instance, an obligation to publish the results. We have, for instance, even if it is a no result or a no procurement, we have obligation to publish. So that we give opportunity for those who took part to be able to assess or to uh, make complaints if they feel that they were not properly um, analyzed in the procedure. Now, the third aspect of the transparency which we learn is the availability of disseminating tools. The essence here is that for there to be transparency in a system, you have to ensure that there are appropriate avenues where those who take part in the system can get information concerning the projects, uh, concerning every regulation that is going on in the system. In Cameroon, we have some traditional uh, tools. The traditional tools include the public uh, contracts uh, logbook, where it is expected that all contracts are published, all projects are published, and that even the results of uh, award results of uh, contracts are equally published. Uh, besides that, we have newspapers and the radio announcements and other avenues um, which are put at the disposal of the public to get this information. But most importantly, and this is what is new in our system, the upsurge of um, electronic media. And for this electronic media, we have first Connex, uh, the Cameroon uh, uh, online e-procurement system, which uh, we have been working on since uh, 2016 with the, the Korean government. And this system, as it is now, helps in the publication of all uh, documents and information related to public contracts. It is expected that in the days ahead, it will move up to a second phase, which will actually be the effective um, award of contracts only using the online means because for now at some stages there is um, still the manual evaluation. Now for the last point it has to do with ensuring that there is a review system, the, the based, a decision based uh, review system in which all the actions taken by uh, contract authorities in the system can be reviewed. This is to promote accountability in the system. And with accountability, the officials are held responsible for decisions that they take, and even for decisions that they do not take if they were supposed to do so. Now, to move on to our lessons learned, 
We have already elaborated some of them. But for the new ideas that we brought in uh, from our studies in Korea, we have, uh, first of all, the knowledge of the Korean public uh, the e-procurement system, the CONNECT, and which has helped us to understand well the functioning of this system and its impact on transparency. Because every aspect of it is in a, such a way that even anybody who so wishes can consult. This reduces greatly arbitrariness and uh, discrimination in the public uh, procurement system. Uh, another thing which um, we learned is the continuous urge to perfect the system. The Cameroon public contract system uh, exists since 1959. And if we want to recall that the Korean system came into place in 1969, where Cameroon was in 1959, we realized that despite our 10 years uh, difference with Korea, that the Korean system has evolved to a level that um, we are bound to copy from them now. And so, considering that uh, the e-procurement system in Korea began already in 2002, and now it has reached this team, even winning awards. We are hoping that from the good experience that we have there on the functioning of the system, if properly put into use in Cameroon, in the years ahead, the Cameroon system too should be very performant, just like the Korean system. One other new thing we brought and which is ongoing is the continuous training of public procurement officials. In fact, as I speak, we have a training session that is programmed for uh, bidders on the use of the e-procurement uh, system, the collect, the collect system. And just a week ago, some of our officials, including myself, we were in Kribi to put up uh, a rapid in, uh, result initiative on how to bring other entities of the Cameroon uh, public service to take part in this system given that some are reticent. Um, we want to conclude by saying that um, transparency has proven itself to be an essential tool to fight corruption in uh, the, the public uh, procurement system. And the Cameroon government has engaged itself in the introduction of uh, e-procurement, which reduces face-to-face -face contact and thereby reducing the possibility of uh, corruption. It is hoped that as the second phase of this program will be uh, implemented, the degree of corruption in the system and other malpractice will be greatly reduced. And in this, we count on the constant collaboration and the training and sensitization that we receive from the Korea uh, government through COICA, uh, like some of us had the advantage to have had that training. So we thank uh, COICA, thank the Korean government, and we hope that this cooperation is uh, uh, continued and it is uh, encouraged for greater uh, results. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Gamsa Mida.